Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Always Sometimes Monsters. Let us continue directing the poor life of Mathis here, who is now in uh, Beat Town, or Beaten, or whatever it's called, uh, in Larry's apartment. Last episode, we had to take his freaking wife to the hair salon and deal with her bullshit. Her such bullshit. She treated everybody there like complete assholes, like complete bitch, um, and had no money to really do anything with it. Uh, so what ended up happening is I ended up footing the bill just to shut her up so I didn't have to hear her shit anymore. And maybe putting myself on her good side was a good idea because, well, God knows that she's going to be a problem. And she could pose a problem later on. Uh, let's just take a look around, though. See what's going on. Hey, this cat's still here, isn't he? Meow? Meow. All right. Well, I'm not so sure what else there is to do. It is... I assume nighttime. We still have a little over $600. Uh, is there a lot of, like, booze out here, man? Like, a whole lot of booze. We're gonna go ahead and crash on the couch, I guess. And with luck, we'll, uh, be able to do some stuff. Yeah, let's go ahead and sleep. Should I write in my journal for the night? Yeah, you might as well. Everything's gonna be down there. Even, uh, I don't know, I'm curious how much detail that poor man writes down. Very curious how much detail he writes, because if he writes down that he paid for her, isn't, a, isn't her husband eventually gonna find out and maybe, you know, be pissed with her and stuff? Oh, hello. God, I can't take it anymore. Heh, <laughs> you okay over there, Mathis? No, I really don't think so. I have to write one more goddamn word. I swear to God I'm going to lose my mind and shove this pencil right through your face. Sam, why the hell did I let you convince me this was a good idea? Hush, you'll be thanking me when we're rich. Look, if it's getting to you, if it's getting to you, let's just take a break. Yes, please. We got any beers left? Guess not. You got any cash for more? What do you think? This sucks. What are we wasting our time here for? All these essays aren't going to mean shit once we graduate. Honestly, we'd be probably be better off dropping out now and getting back on track with the project. Holy crap, I am an advanced looking man to be in college. That beard is magnificent. Oh, don't be such a baby. What's Professor McAllister always telling us? You gotta pay your dues in this life. There is no road to easy street no matter what we think. Sooner or later, you gotta deliver the effort owed. Necessary effort or not, I'm still taking a break. You wanna hit the student lounge with me? I need to borrow your meal card. Actually, I was thinking of spending some time up in the observatory for a change. I can meet you afterwards, though, if you want. Let me see if the nachos aren't too stale today. Since when the hell did you give a crap about the stargazing or whatever the hell they do up there, man? You gonna go looking for a little green men? Not exactly. More like a heavenly body if you catch my drift. Wait, you talking about a girl? Why did you say something earlier? I didn't think it was a big deal. We haven't even spoken yet. At this point, I'd say it's more like I'm stalking her and she hasn't noticed, to be honest. Besides, I probably don't even have a shot. Smart, good looking, really charismatic. She's just about per as perfect as they come. Way out of my league. Well, what's your plan then? Battle plan? Yeah, you can't just march up here without a plan or you're gonna blow it. Look, you only got one chance to make a solid first impression. You've gotta make it a good one. Who knows, you two could be soulmates and not even realize it or whatever. You don't want to mess that shit up. Shit, well, when you put it that way, you gotta help me. I'm horrible with this stuff. I don't even know if she'd be into me. You gotta help me, man. What do you want me to do about it? I don't know, recon or something. Go find out what she's into and stuff. Just go strike up conversation and then come back here with a report and everything. Like you said, I only get one chance at this and I really do want to make a good impression. Knowing a little more couldn't hurt, right? I don't know, you're kind of overanalyzing things right now, being a little creepy. Definitely a stalker. Please, pretty please, you'll be my best friend forever and ever. So you want me to go spy on your crush for you? All right, fine, I'll go, settle down. Oh, Mathis, thank you, thank you. Okay, dude, relax. Upstairs in the observatory, yeah? Yeah, I think she's helping Professor Radford set some stuff up before, she, before her next class. So what's in it for me? I was really looking forward to nachos. Do this for me and I'll buy you so many nachos you'll die a horrible jalapeno death. Now we're talking. Here, take my meal card and you can pick them up on your way back or whatever. Meal card! Alright, what are you gonna do? What am I gonna do while you're on assignment? Probably take a nap. Figures. Alright, I'm out of here. You're the best. What's your name, by the way? So I know who to look for. Why do I know this is gonna? he's gonna say Carrie? Oh god. Your name's Carrie. God damn it! Are you shitting me? 
my girlfriend, the one I loved and was gonna marry, is Sam's, or, oh yeah, Sam's, like, interest? Oh god, that's why he's not in any of the memories. Oh, how did I know? Trust me, you'll know her when you see her. Alright, got it. Enjoy the nap. Oh, this is awful. Can we spy on some people? Uh, Jesus H. Christ. Well, we all know how this turns out. Observatory, let's just do it. Hello, hi, how's everybody doing? Oh, hi there. Hey, you! Come here, you've got to see this. Uh, you should be passing by these coordinates in just a minute or two. Coming. Oh, I unplugged it. I think there's something wrong with your picture or something. It's not showing, it's just showing static. You unplugged my connection to the telescope! Oh shit! What'd I do? Plug it back in! Hurry, we're gonna miss it! Come on! Why am I walking at it? I feel like walking at it doesn't do it. There, how's that? System reset. Is it working again? Oh, uh, come on! Don't do this to me now! What's going on? The whole system's resetting! Oh, we're gonna miss it! What can I do? I've gotta recalibrate the capture software. You go to the terminal over there and I'll give you the instructions on how to enter the coordinates. I thought I was going to look for fucking Carrie. Alright, so what do I do? Alright, it's looking for coordinates again. I'm gonna call out some numbers, you just punch them in as, as needed. Got it. Alright, first one's 76. Alright, let's do this. Oh no! No, 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 I didn't mean to, yeah. Fuck. 76, hurry up, I didn't mean to hit space. 76, got it. Alright, next up is 81. 81, got it. Third one's supposed to be 57. 57, all right. Now punch in 19. All right, punching it in. Gotcha. Come on, almost done, 28. 28 inputted. Last one here, 69. Oh, God, of course it is. All done. Whoa, what am I looking at? Hey, the picture's back. What What am I looking at? So, is it working now? Damn, I think we missed it. Uh, I'm gonna go. Missed what? There's a comet passing by Earth tonight that only swings by every thousand years or so. A comet? Yeah, a big chunk of space rock hurtling through the universe without a single care. I was hoping to get one of the first photos of it for the news, but I guess that's not gonna happen. It's a shame, too. That really would have helped justify the expense of this old piece of junk. Ooh, whoops, I'm sorry. Can we recalibrate it and try it again? Ah, uh, there's no point. I'm sure every dimwit with a telescope's got some sort of picture of it by now. Shit, is there anything I can do to make it up? Ah, eh, don't sweat it. There's one thing I've learned about studying the big bad universe all these years is that you simply can't control all the variables. No matter how much you prepare or how certain you are of the way things are going to turn out, the inherent chaos Inherent, rather, chaos of the cosmos will ensue. Even in isolation, we can't escape the randomness of the universe. Something always goes wrong. Well, you're a fucking pride and joy. I'm Professor Radford, by the way, and you are not one of my students if my memory serves. Oh, you're fucking hot for Professor. I'm single still. Carrie's not in the picture yet. What brings you all the way up here? We're not enrolling new students this late in the semester, but you handled your, the machines well enough. I think I could bend the rules. Oh, hi, I'm Mathis. And, uh, no, I'm in the literature program already. Uh, one of McAllister's students. How you could stand him, I'll never know. I'm actually here looking for someone. Well, my friend's looking for someone. Some girl. She was supposed to be here and helping you set up for class or something. Oh, you must be looking for Carrie. Oh, I'm in the right place. I sent her downstairs to hand out some flyers. I'm trying to get the students more interested in our classes. Tuition's falling through the floor. You sure don't want to, you sure you don't want to register? Thanks, but my course load's already stacked. Hey, whatever you say. Just remember that there's a lot more to learn than whatever you're finding in McAllister's book club. But, I suppose to each their own. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to send a rather disappointing message to the Daily News Times. Hey, I worked for them. They don't pay very well. Don't bother. Guess all the science equipment gets stowed away in here. Trash bins filled with a whole bunch of weird vials of stuff. Better not touch it. Odd who the heck would declare water fountain for an emergency use only. I don't want to break your shit, man. Sorry. Hey, quit putting the light switch. Eh, sorry. I wanted to make out with you in the dark. Haha. <laughs> Oops! There she is. Beautiful. Wearing sunglasses as always. Hey there, got a second? Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah, take one of these. You received a comet flyer. 
There's a comet passing by Earth tonight. It's gonna be quite the sight. So I've heard. Wow, I didn't think anyone outside the department cared about this kind of stuff. Name's Carrie. Nice to meet you. Carrie? Yeah, and you are? Oh, sorry. I'm Mathis. Nice to meet you, too. So, what brings you all the way up here? I don't recognize you from any rad first classes. I, uh, looking for you. I was looking for you, actually. You're not another stalker, are you? What? No! I've had this guy follow me around campus for at least a week, and he gives me the creeps. Oh, uh, oh, that's my friend, Sam. He's not stalking you, per se. He's just a bit of a crush on you. Well, could you tell him to stop? It's been freaking me out. Shit, I thought he was speaking metaphorically. Yeah, I'll let him know. Sam's just a little shy to initiate conversation. I was actually supposed to come up here and talk to you for him. See if he had a chance, you know? Oh, well, I'll save you the effort of asking. He's really not my type. Okay, then. Let me guess. You're gay. Uh, no. It's just that you're a little closer to my type. If you know what I mean. I, I don't know what you mean, but... Ah, uh, you can show me later in your bedroom if you want. Are you hitting on me? Well, if you were interested in joining me tonight out by the bluffs, I wouldn't say no. What do you say? Would you be interested in accompanying me for an evening of life-changing comet photography? This, this is a once-in-a-lifetime sight. Right, the comet thing. Yeah, you know, I'd love to, but I really can't. Since it's really important, I'm already supposed to have it done. I'm gonna try and be the good friend. Well, can't blame a girl for trying. At least take this, would you? You received Carrie's phone number. Should be heading over to the bluffs before nightfall to set everything up. If you could change your mind, if you change your mind, you'll know where to find me, I guess. Shit, I gotta get back to class. I'll see you around, yeah? She's so hot. I wanna do her, but not before I tell Sam. I'm a good friend. It was nice meeting you, by the way. You too. We gotta tell Sam, man. This got... Now what do I tell Sam? The truth, bro! The truth. It's the best thing to go about, especially in these types of situations. Oh, never mind. Well, at least I did the honorable thing. Hello, I love you. Why do I always have to dream about her? Such a vivid dream, too. It's not fair. I don't even know if she's happy. Come to think of it, I never even called when I got the invite. <laughs> I still remember her number after all. You wrote down Carrie's phone number. Oh, God. Maybe I should give her a call before I go any further. It's not too late to turn back. I think it's a good idea. Rise and shine, Mathis. Yo, what up? Oh, you're already up. Actually, I was thinking of going back to bed. Not a chance. You got a big day ahead of you. Come on out to the patio. I want you to see something. Hmm, fuck. Really? Do we have to do this now, Larry? Yes, absolutely. Can I make a call first? Who the hell are you going to call at this hour? Come on, I can wait for when we get to the office. Fine, I'm coming. Let's do it. Uh, let me guess we're going to look at a patio, uh, at a comet. All right, I'm out here. What do you want to show me? You've got a real shitty attitude, you know that? Well, you dragged me out of bed to the crack of dawn. What'd you expect? Oh, I'm sorry. Were you having a nice dream? Here, let me get you some coffee. Maybe some caffeine will make you tolerable. Why do you have a ca fucking coffee maker out here, man? Thanks. It's working already. All right, all right. What'd you bring me out here for? I still don't know what we're doing today. Right now, we're watching the sunrise. Uh, romantic. Love you too, Larry. Are you kidding me? You woke me up for a sunrise? Yeah, and? I could be sleeping, that's what. Tell me, Mathis, when was the last time you saw the sun come up? When was the last time it wasn't almost noon before you got out of bed? I don't know, probably when I was in school. So I used to get so wrapped up in our work, we'd pull all-nighters without even realizing it. There was this one time we set our alarms really early for an exam. They wound up going off before we even went to bed. We were completely exhausted through the test, totally bombed. Didn't matter, though, because we were together. I know what you're getting at, by the way. But you can save me the hypocrisy. Thank you very much. I come out here every single morning, so thank yourself very much. This view is about the only thing I actually care about in this apartment. Excuse me for wanting to share that with someone. You've got a wife, you know. Ever think she might appreciate an invitation? Belinda doesn't appreciate much anymore, man. She's too well-fed, you know what I mean? This easy life, it spoiled her. I don't know. I think she's hurting more than she lets, you, lets on. When we were at the salon, it was a total meltdown. I hate to say it, but I kind of felt bad for her a little. It's my fault, I guess. I sold her this life so she'd love me. It ruined everything. The sad part is, I'd do it all again if I could. Just to have her a little longer. You can't chase that good feeling forever, though, Mathis. Everything burns down eventually. 
That is a pessimistic view, good sir. But you really love her, huh? Of course I do. That's why I can't let go. No matter how low that choice makes me sink. Yeah, I think I understand. Don't be a pessimist, dude. Let's watch the sun rise and enjoy the beautiful um, thing. Can I go now? Wow, it's beautiful. All right, there we go, Jesus. Okay, this office is shitty. So this is where all the magic happens. I always expected the publishing office to be a little more glamorous, you know? Well, this is technically just our warehouse. The actual office is closer to downtown. What are we doing here then? This is the job I was talking about. We've got a real situation on our hands with the strike right now and we need the help. These orders aren't gonna fill themselves and we can't afford to stagnate. Orders? You mean I'm shipping books out to stores or something? Well, not exactly. The company's selling off unused slip covers and spines to a pulping plant overseas in China. It's a decent way to recoup some of the losses and we get a big environmental tax credit. <laughs> Paper doesn't grow on trees, you know? Man, everybody says you know you're not. I, th I feel like this whole game a ends in a lot of questions. See, like this, when you said you'd have work for me, I figured I'd be in my wheelhouse, you know? Putting letters into words, words into sentences, so on and so forth. Come on, Mathis. You had your chance already. How many times do you expect me to stick my neck out for you? Wait, you said unused slipcovers. You're kidding me, right? You're literally having me pulp my own failures? What the fuck, Larry? That's fucked up. Well, the boxes are sealed. I'll leave the mystery up to you. You're not our only failure on books, you know? Right, because being the world's- the worst of the worst would still mean I'm best at something. Hey, you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. I'll give you a minute to change and meet uh, meet you upstairs. There's a uniform in the lockers over there. The foreman's kind of particular about it, so do me a favor and play along. Whatever. Hey, maybe think of this as a new start. We're still a team, you know? Sure feels like it. Don't give me that, Mathis. You're mad at yourself, not me. We're still a team, right? Whatever. Hey, I'm just as sorry as you are. Take a minute to collect yourself. I'll see you in five. Phone's by the coffee maker if you still need it. Yeah, I fucking need it. I need to fuck call Carrie. The ex's number. Well, here goes nothing. Let's fucking do it. Hello? Uh, hello? Is, uh, Carrie there? No, sorry, this is her old number. She gave her old phone when she moved out of San Verdano. Oh, sorry about that then. Thanks anyway. What's your name, by the way? So I can call, say who called. Oh, right, it's Mathis. Holy shit, I thought I recognized that voice. It's me, Mark. Oh, yeah, Mark. Gold buddy. Mark? Yeah, come on now. You remember old Mark and Saw, don't you? Shit, Junior, you probably forgot all about me. I've known you since you were in nappies, baby boy. Old friend of your folks. I used to look after you on odd weekends here and there. Well, you looked after yourself mostly, but you get the idea, right? Shit, I haven't talked to any of y'all in so long. How are the old folks, anyway? Ah, never mind that. What the hell are you doing calling up Carrie? Don't tell me you two know each other. I should go southern for this guy. Yeah, we know each other. We dated for a while, actually. Well, I'll be damned. Now that, I picture it, you two would make a pretty good couple. It's one hell of a small world, I'll give you that, I will. I heard she's getting married though, ain't she? Not too long from now in San Verdano, if I recall. Yeah, that's where I'm trying to get to. Of course, money's tight and travel expenses, ex travel's expensive, so it's been a nightmare so far. Well shit, Salt City's on the way. You swing by here and I'll drive you there myself. Are you serious? That'd be a huge weight off my shoulders. Of course I'm serious. I'll take you right to the chapel if need be. It's the least I could do. It'd just be really nice to get to see you again. See what y'all looking like grown up. Okay, creep. Don't do, don't be weird. How do I find you when I get to Salt City? Ah, uh, you can ask pretty much anyone in town and they'll tell you. Just look for the old Jubilee Trailer Park, though. That's where you'll find me. Door's always open. Well, all right then. Thanks a lot, man. I guess I'll see you when I get there. Jubilee Trailer Park in Salt City. Who dog? It's gonna be a lot of fun. Looking forward to seeing you, Mathis. Yeah, I guess you too, uh, Mark and Saw. See, you do remember. All right, I gotta go now, but take care, Mathis. The fuck? 
Well, I didn't expect that. Alright, back to reality for now. Let's get the shitty warehouse job out of the way. Alright, and that is where I'm going to wrap up this episode. Doing a warehouse job, packing away our old books. Thank you guys so much for coming by. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do by now. Come back tomorrow for some more daily Always Sometimes Monsters. And consider dropping a like as it helps me out a great deal. And as always, I'll see all you mofos next time. Bye-bye.